What's going on guys? It's your boy Ozzy from Zonix Gaming here and today as you can see by the title I'm going to tell you about probably one of the most painful things I've ever been through or ever will be through. This was pretty traumatizing as you'll hear but it's whatever it just happens it's all it's over now it happened four years ago so it's been a little bit since then but anyways let's hop right into the story Damn, this engine is so it all started off or and by the way guys I'm gonna be telling you as much as I can remember I can't remember all of it but it started off let's see five years ago I was in second grade so yeah five years ago and it was on a Sunday so you sometimes on Sundays I go and hit baseballs with my brothers because we play baseball and stuff and you know how it goes but anyways this Sunday we went to go do the same and some of my brother's high school friends came over and they all played high school baseball because that's what he did and that's what most of his friends would do as that's kind of what happens in life but anyways he was oh well, I was up there playing baseball with him and we stopped and had a break, went to Subway, went and ate lunch, and then after that we got, uh, we got back to playing, and I'm trying not to tell the story too fast, but anyways, we started playing again, and, uh, yeah, we started playing and everything was going fine, I played shortstop, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's the place in between second base and third base, but like more in the middle ish uh I don't know how to explain it without showing you on like a thing or whatever but anyways I was playing there and one of my brother's friend's girlfriend came up to the plate and I did not think that she would be able to hit the ball very good so I decided I would scoot up and just if she hits me a grounder it'll be easy and it'll be easy so anyways I scoot up to the plate and the kid that was pitching to him throws the ball and the first swing she hits it and right off the bat it came fast at me like too fast for me to realize so I tried putting my my glove in the way of where the ball was coming but I failed so the ball ended up hitting like the tip of my glove and then shooting right towards my teeth and so what happened then is I did like sort of this flip because it hit me so hard not like a back flip but more of like a side flip and I landed face first into the dirt and so anyways after that my brother runs up to me and he like sort of picks me up and carries me to his truck and calls my mom my mother and so my mom was just coming from somewhere with my sister probably a dance competition since it was a Sunday but she was coming home and she was just about home when he called her so she went and picked me up and got we I was literally gushing oh I forgot this part so when I was sitting on his tailgate of his truck I was literally gushing blood out of my mouth and my brother walked up to me well first off my one brother says whatever you do do not close your mouth and then my other brother walked up to me and he goes I found his other tooth and it was probably two inches long I'll just drive to and it, w it was a full thing so anyways he oh sorry I had to swallow my throat's really dry this week but anyways he turned so my mother got there and she picked me up and brought me to my grandma's house and so at my grandma's house they put, the first thing they did is they grabbed this white rag and Put it over my mouth and you know I did not I didn't want like I don't know why they chose white but they just chose white that might have been the only one she had but at this point I blacked out and I remember when I blacked out I was sitting on my grandma's neighbor's lap and she was holding the uh the rag up to my face as they called every dentist they knew like I said this was on a Sunday I live in Utah, so most places aren't open on Sundays. I guess everywhere, but more likely in Utah. But anyways, they finally got this one dentist to answer. They they didn't know 
well, they knew a lot of Daniel's phone numbers, but it was Sunday and they weren't at work. So my grandma had this, like, old friend, I guess, that they could call. So they called him and he he did not live in, or he did not live in the city I did, but he lived super close to the city. So we had to drive over to his office. And when we were in his office area, sorry, the Gameplay just stopped right there. That kind of confused me. Uh, when we were in his, well, while we were in his parking lot of his office, we had to wait for 30 minutes, me gushing blood out of my mouth, waiting for uh, the the dentist to show up. Got a burp. This is weird. Police found this. But either way, the dentist shows up, and so we all go inside and the first thing he does he takes the rag off my face and it was red you couldn't even tell it was white he goes this was red when you put it on there right those were his exact words I go no I believe it was white but I don't know I blacked out and so she he goes oh no and he like kinda puts it throws it away type deal gets rid of it and uh, the first thing they did was they had to take x-rays in my mouth so to take x- x-rays out of my mouth, they put these blocks in and they told me to bite down. And I could not bite down because my other tooth was bent, was broken off in my mouth but it was still there. So when I bit down, that tooth would shove up and it just felt so weird. So after that, there's not, nothing more to say. They shoved the one tooth back in, they fixed the other tooth. And yeah, it's Bad about news. all that happened. But Time you had a I went home man. and I had these big... St- big old lips and stitches in my in my mouth but anyways after that it was probably it was two year three years later because it's going on five and that was two years ago when I was in fifth grade three years later I finally went to a new dentist and he told me that I would have to get a retainer with teeth on them it's called a flipper and I currently have one so so we had a wait for him to make one and then we traveled out to the it's salt lake the capital of utah and then we got oh we got my teeth fixed it was like a five hour process but they put me under thankfully and i woke up and i had no teeth so after that they gave me the retainer fitted it to my mouth and gave me a couple ice packs for the way home but So the retainer fits to my mouth now, and that's all I have to tell, but, uh, I recorded this big long gameplay, and I don't want to, like, stop midway through, so I'd be boring. But anyways, I think I can cut it, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new, and once again, this has been Ozzy from Zonix Gaming, and I'm out. See you guys.